One of the notable challenges that has been decried by the judiciary has been inadequate manpower. The number of judicial officers is still insufficient to match justice demands, which has negatively affected justice delivery, whereby only 31 of the approved staff structure is filed. The numbers of judicial officers are still insufficient to match the justice demands. In addition, the number of administrative staff have not been increased to match the judicial officers, which has negatively affected judicial, judicial, justice delivery. We still need more, and we have convinced the authorities that if we get the judges that we requested for, these cases I was talking about will be get channeled out of court, and the larger tax space will be uh, improved. Despite these ongoing challenges, the past two years have seen a gradual reduction in the backlog of cases. Data from the previous fiscal years of 2021 to 2022 to fiscal year 2024 to 2025 indicate a positive trend. Case backlog has also reduced. Over the past three years, there has been a gradual decrease in the case backlog. From, 19, from 2021, the backlog was 30.11%. From 2022 to 23, backlog reduced to 27. 2023 to 24 reduced to 26. And as at the end of September 2024, the case backlog stands at 25. Nonetheless, the urgency of the case backlog issue remains stuck, particularly in the High Court. Out of over 40,000 outstanding cases, approximately 26,000 are concentrated in High Court jurisdictions many of which pertain to civil matters. The judiciary has proposed amendments to the Magistrate Act aiming to delegate certain high court cases to magistrates. This is something we are working on to ensure that the jurisdiction of the magistrates' court is enhanced because for now the highest caseload we have for even the backlog is in the high court where we have out of our backlog of about 40,000 cases, about 26,000 is in the high court. Now, the judiciary has submitted a series of recommendations, chief among them being an improvement in budgetary provisions to support the expansion of personnel and resources, equip crucial justice chain institutions, and to fast-track the integration of technological systems. David Ijo, NTV Tonight.